say welcome to a uh, lab tutorial based on image processing so we'll discuss image processing how to perform image processing with scilab so for that purpose uh, basically the scilab basic version of the scilab doesn't have image processing toolbox basic scilab doesn't have a uh, image processing toolbox so we have to install that toolbox so that we will operate uh, on image processing or we will operate on image so we will install the package as a SVIP that is also called as toolbox so for image processing. So how we will install that SVIP image processing toolbox. So click on this atoms ATM the package manager. Click on that using module manager atoms the click on it. After clicking, it will open the package repository. From that, you have to select image processing. Click on it. Then select Scilab image and video processing toolbox. So click on it. So it is nearly 38 MB. And now click on install. So it will start processing or it will start installing. So if not, then it will start uh, downloading for the uh, internet. And it will start installing. So it will take some time for installation. So it will take some time. So you can read the description about it. Now it is installed. So I'll have uh, image processing toolbox that is SPIP is installed now. So you can see the green color it shows that it is installed now for taking effect of it you have to restart the scilab so close the scilab and once again open it once again open the scilab to take effect of or to you uh, to get the effect of svip toolbox now it will show SVIP image processing in a scilab image and video processing toolbox so it is now installed and you can use that for image processing so after installation of SVIP we will do some operations on images so basic how to access the image in scilab how to uh, uh, get the pixel value of the image so initially we know that image is nothing but it is made up from the pixels so we will access that as I have shown those are some images I have stored in this folder that is desert.jpg fig this pif and so on the ring one jellyfish polar so those images I have and I will show you how to access by using scilab so for accessing it so you can have the command like we will discuss some commands like I am read for reading the image image and then I am show to display the image display the image so I will take variable a is equal to I am read I am read and if suppose I want to access this fig 458 this figure then I will write F and if I press tab then I will get the options available or the various images available. So I will for it is I will enter it and then uh, simple inverted comma single inverted comma. So I will if I am entering or press enter then it will access all the values. So you can see all the values pixel values will be accessed in the scilab environment. same command if suppose the same command a is equal to i am read and after ending of the command if i am pressing the uh, if i am placing the semicolon and if i press enter then this process will not be shown means if you want echo then you should remove the semicolon and if you want if you don't want echo means to display then you have to place the semicolon now after that a is a variable where 
the image pixel values all the pixel values are stored so you can see that here by double clicking on it so you can see whole a a the pixel values of the a now after reading it if i want to show i am show is a command to display i am show is so if i have to pass the variable a so it is nothing but the image displayed with the i am show so for reading the image in the scilab environment we have i am read as the command and to display it we have i am show as the command now after this if suppose any image we have for example we have color image and i want to convert into into gray scale gray scale so for that i have command that rgb to gray see the command i have to use rgb to gray i will show you how to convert it now a is equal suppose i i am taking another variable p is equal to i am read in single inverted comma the color images are cola jellyfish so i will put j and i will press tab so it will give the single option and if i press enter i am read the spelling mistake i am r e a d enter so all the pixels will be read inside the scilab environment it is color image so it will process or it will accept all pixel values so to avoid that delay we have to put the semicolon if we put the semicolon it will not do that it will accept all it will not show the or echo the process it will perform back end now i will show the b where b image i am show b so this is the image i have and it is color and i want to convert this into rgb so i will have the c variable new variable rgb to gray and the variable to be passed that is the b where i have placed the color image to be i will put the semicolon if not then it will show the process so i want to bypass the process so c is equal to rgb to gray now i will use i am show for c c c is nothing but the gray scale image earlier it was the color image and i have converted into gray scale image so this is the process of converting image into gray scale image read and image right